Our next speaker is Dr. Norbert Tavares, Program Manager, Cell Biology at the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative. Dr. Tavares. Hello, thank you. Uh, the comments I'll provide today are from the funder's perspective and in the context of the field of single cell biology and contributing to the construction of the human cell atlas. So CZI is funding a, a large number of data generation projects that will contribute to the bulk of the data to the human cell atlas. Um, the HCA is intended to function as a reference map for healthy tissue. And as a reference, it needs to have high quality data with rich metadata that will enable data reuse and reanalysis to allow for many different types of research questions beyond the original project that generated the data. Because of this, we're encouraging investigators to collect and report more metadata than they intend to use for their current research questions. Within reason, of course, uh, they have to balance the time that it takes for uh, donors to fill out a lengthy questionnaire or limited metadata that will come from uh, biobank samples. Uh, so one major issue that has um, come up is that single cell studies do not often report the race and or ethnicity, um, <clears throat> as you can see from the graph. Uh, and these data are from cell by gene, which is the largest queryable uh, repository of single cell data. And the majority of the data are reported as unknown race or ethnicity. This is obviously a problem for meta-analysis and for data interpretation and for understanding which populations are truly underrepresented. So for the reference atlas, uh, the data needs to be easy to access, query, and visualize, and we need to agree on some minimal set of metadata uh, and some level of standards to make the data queryable in tools like cell by gene for data exploration. So we're encouraging the collection of uh, a minimal met of set of metadata across all of the projects. The resolution may vary depending on the, the project and what they're able to collect and share. So the three things we're encouraging is that all groups uh, do some level of genotyping, collect geography down to the finest grain resolution allowed by their RVs and consent, uh, for example, postal code, and to collect self-reported race and or ethnicity and that's the most relevant to their region, country, culture, community that they're working with. Uh, the HCA will function as a global reference, so US-centric racial descriptors don't work in most contexts. Uh, standards uh, take time to develop, and they're not hard to put in place. It's getting buy-in and compliance that can be tough, and buy-in and compliance is necessary for successful implementation. As a funder, we don't want to be prescriptive, but to provide some guidelines and framing. Uh, one issue with the nascent field of single cell biology is that there just isn't enough data and we don't yet know what uh, metadata levels and resolution is really needed. So not collecting self-reported demographic data isn't on the table. The areas of contention for the topic tend to be how the data are gonna be interpreted and reported more so than what is collected. And we're trying to get a consensus on what to collect, not how it's used. We're hoping this committee will provide useful recommendations and guidelines for us to use in the reporting of the data. As a funder, we um, can encourage or even mandate the specifics about how the data are collected and how open they are, but it would be a real challenge to dictate to each lab how they write up their findings. Uh, we'll leave the reporting in the hands of the researchers to, to do the right thing. Other useful outputs from this committee might be guidance for investigators on the language, approach, justification, ethical considerations when writing up documents for their IRBs, and likewise guidance for IRBs. Uh, guidelines on what minimal and optional metadata uh, would be optimal to collect, um, and at what resolution to make the data more broadly useful and reusable and, and reanalyzable. So I'd like to take a minute though, to take off my funder hat um, and speak just for a second as a Black person and a scientist. Um, it should not have gone unnoticed in these last two meetings that the majority of the advocates for not collecting race and ethnicity data have been mostly people of European ancestry. And a mix of folks, uh, including Black and Brown speakers, have been advocating for collecting of these uh, population descriptors. Um, I would urge the community to pay attention to this trend and to listen to and prioritize the comments of people of color as these people are 
um, most likely to be affected by this issue. Thank you. Thank you so much.